Welcome to another video and in this video we are going to be comparing the build times from an iMac 2020 and a MacBook Pro 2018 and the iMac has an i7 processor with 8 cores and 64 gigs of RAM and the MacBook Pro has an i7 quad core processor with 16 gigs of RAM. So there's quite a difference in the spec here so we're going to expect a lot more performance from the iMac. So on the left we have the MacBook Pro and on the right we have the iMac here and we are building a project called Swift Hub which is a GitHub client. It's got quite a few dependencies and I would say this is about a medium sized project and we're running it with Xcode 11.7 and what we're going to do is run it three times just to make sure we've got an accurate build time and the first time we'll run it in pretty much real time and then we will speed up the second and third runs so we're not sitting here waiting. So on the right here we can see the iMac has almost finished building already so let's see what time the first build comes in at. It's already completed there and it's going to be 53.6 seconds so we'll get started on the second build for the iMac there and we'll just wait for the MacBook Pro to finish its first one. And whilst we're waiting, if you are enjoying this type of video, uh, I can do another one on how much the amount of RAM affects the build time. So if you do like it, then please subscribe to the channel and give a like to this video and I'll do one of those as well. Because these are all questions I had when I was purchasing the iMac, um, which I couldn't find a lot of content on to tell me exactly the performance boost I would be getting. So we can see on the left here the MacBook Pro is almost finished now, so let's have a look and see what time it comes in at. And there we go, it's succeeded, so we can see it's 1 minute 54 seconds, almost well, more than a full minute after the iMac there. So let's uh, speed up the final runs of this so we can get the accurate time. And we have the iMac, all three here, which is pretty much 54 seconds. And the second MacBook Pro is in 1 minute 55. And the final one, before we can get the average build time is going to be, let's see, one minute 57. So overall, pretty huge difference there and the iMac is actually going to be 2.13 times faster than the MacBook Pro 2018. So that's pretty interesting and because I'm going to be using this iMac mainly for SwiftUI projects I thought it'd be interesting to build uh, a SwiftUI project using Xcode 12. So this project is one that I'm currently building in public on my channel. So if you're interested in SwiftUI please do subscribe and have a look at this series where I'm building a fitness app using SwiftUI, Combine and Firebase completely in public. So I will produce a video every step of the way. So if you think that sounds appealing, please do subscribe. So here we go. We've got the iMac on the right again and it's looking like it's almost finished already. And both these projects have Firebase libraries in, so I'm expecting a pretty similar build time here and pretty much finished there there we go so what's it 52.5 seconds there for the first build on the iMac and I think we're just going to speed up the MacBook Pro here I don't think we need to sit around so let's see what time the MacBook Pro comes in at There we go, 1 minute 54, so pretty similar to the last run. And the final times are 1 minute 58, 1 minute 
47 for the MacBook Pro and 52.3 and 52.9 for the iMac. So overall, pretty similar improvement there. And in fact, it's very similar because again, 2.13 times faster than the MacBook Pro. And the final thing we're going to do is build Swift itself. So let's um, switch over to that. And again, we've got the same setup, the iMac on the right, MacBook Pro on the left. We're just gonna run this once this time because it's such a huge build. And we will speed this up, obviously. So the iMac comes in at 36 minutes and 39 seconds here. And the MacBook Pro comes in at one hour, 33 minutes, 21 seconds. So again, the iMac is way faster at 2.3 times. So you can really see the performance boost you're getting with the iMac. And if we now go to our summary, we can see that overall with the 2.13, 2.13 and 2.35x um, improvement with the iMac here, Overall, we're going to get a 2.2x improvement. So over time and on a daily basis, this is really going to improve the amount of work you can get done. So is it worth it? And the kind of questions I was asking myself when I bought my new iMac were things like, do I want to build large projects and are they going to be clean builds? So if you're pulling a lot from um, your repository and you need to do clean builds all the time, then I definitely consider using this iMac. Um, if you're not doing that and you're just doing incremental builds, then maybe you don't need such power. So have a think about that one. The second thing I thought about is because I'm going to be using a lot of SwiftUI, can I just use the canvas for a lot of this um, so you don't need to build to the simulator a lot of the time when you're making small changes to the UI, you can see it all update on the canvas. So would it really be worth investing in a high powered machine when you can see a lot of your changes without having to build or at least build in the old way? And the third question is, do you need mobility? Because if you need to go and work elsewhere, you don't want to be buying an iMac even if it does give you this huge um, increase in performance. Maybe you want to look into a MacBook Pro, but a higher model or something like that. So have a think about all these things. And if you want another video on the RAM, like I mentioned earlier, then please do give this a like and I will see you for the next video.